I call this drill 45s with tennis balls. For this drill, you'll need five disc cones and two tennis balls. Lay out the cones in a zigzag pattern. I generally lay them out at about 45 degree angles, with each cone about five to seven yards apart. If you set them five yards apart, the kids will be running 25 yards. Next, place the two tennis balls on the two cones on the opposite side from the starting point. In this animation, the drill will start with the first player at the lower right. Split the kids into two groups at each end of the layout. If you have an odd number of kids, put the extra kid at the starting side. On your go, the first kid will sprint to the first cone, pick up the tennis ball, sprint to the next cone, and place the ball on the cone. He will do the same thing for the next group of cones. After placing the last ball, it will run to the outside, in this case, left side of the players waiting. The second player just reverses what the first player did with the tennis balls. If a kid doesn't place a tennis ball on top of the cone, he must go back and correctly place the ball. This drill accomplishes a few things. First, the kids are cutting and stopping and sprinting. This will help with their agility. Second, the drill works on improving their hand-eye coordination and muscle control. Finally, the drill works on conditioning. Keep the group size low and increase the distance between cones to make the drill more strenuous. When first starting out and with younger kids, I turn the cones upside down so it would be easier to place the ball on the cone. You can continuously run this drill for a few minutes before resting. Depending on your kid's speed, it'll take one kid about six to 10 seconds to complete. With a group of five, everyone should get through the drill three times in two minutes. To add some competition, split your team into two groups and set up two drill areas. Now you can have them compete to see which team can finish first. Time them to see how long it should take for your entire team to complete, then challenge them as a whole to beat the total time. If it takes on average about 8 seconds for one kid to complete and you have 10 kids at practice, challenge them to beat a minute 25. Adding the element of tennis balls and making it a team competitive drill should help you get maximum effort out of everyone. Check out the Flag Football Academy channel for more drills, plays, and strategies. Don't forget to subscribe and you'll be notified when a new video is released.